I'm Luke Gribble, Solutions Marketing Manager for Loaders at John Deere. And behind me, I've got one of our brand new models, the 744X tier loader. So Deere has been involved in this X tier loader space for quite some time. All of our loaders that we used to call hybrids are now being badged as this X tier with the E-Drive system, so an electric drive system. The 744 X tier is a new one to our lineup where we are introducing electrified drivetrain components, specifically an electric variable transmission in this machine that we anticipate has a lot of similar qualities to our 644 and 944. It's that transmission component that really makes this special. There's two electric motors on that transmission along with an inverter, and those tools are what allows the machine to more effectively manage torque, power to the ground, and then the ground speed as well. You've got different clutch ranges basically within that where the machine can give you the power it needs with a lot less input. And because it's got a direct power path from the engine to that transmission to the ground, it doesn't have to go through things like a torque converter. And that's where you get that efficiency gain and productivity increases as well. Less fuel being burned, more tons of material, more yards of material that you're able to move with this exterior. So you're not sacrificing performance, but burning less fuel, which is huge for our customers in this space. We anticipate a lot of total cost of ownership benefits as well. The electric components are some of the most reliable that we have out on the marketplace. So again, we expect a very similar story there. This machine is going through final validation phases like all of our machines do to make sure it's hitting the mark when it comes to what customers expect out of it. But we do anticipate that we will have uh, something available sometime next year with more information out to customers and viewers with this model. This technology will also be introduced on the 824 at the same time. So not only are we bringing this one to market sometime in the near future, but the 824 will also join our fleet uh, at that same time as well. They're both very popular machines in the fleet today. As I mentioned, we've had them out in the market, the 644 for almost 10 years now, actually. Between the 644 and 944, we've actually gotten over 3 million field hours put on between them. So customers are running these machines every day, all day, and putting a lot of hours on them. The 944, we only offer that size loader in that electrified drivetrain X tier space. So when it comes to choosing that machine, that is actually the only option customers get. With the 944 in particular though, that E-Drive brings big advantages when you're undergoing a rebuild event, which is very common for a loader in that size class. So because you don't have a traditional transmission axles as an example, like a regular loader would have, those don't need replaced during that rebuild event. So you're just swapping out your motors, inspecting some of the electrical components, refreshing the engine, and that's a significant cost savings. It actually comes in about 50 to 60% of the cost of if you were rebuilding a traditional loader. When I think about the 744, aggregates is probably one of the lead applications where we can see this machine fitting in. Whether it's working in a sand or gravel pit in the bottom of a quarry, uh, could be loading trucks at certain sites, it could be working at a ready mix or an asphalt plant. So we do anticipate that there's going to be a lot of interest from the aggregate uh, sector with customers moving towards more solutions like this. Um, and that would be probably the target one. So we're expecting a lot, uh, a lot of activity with this machine. Now is a good time to mention that if you want to see more content like this, subscribe and click the bell icon so you can see when we post more videos.